Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, I would like to show you how to install the JDK software in our Windows operating system in order to execute the Java applications, right? So in the previous sessions, I've already shown you the installation, download and installation of Eclipse. So which, which can also be used to write the programs and execute the Java programs. So this is another way. So installation of JDK. So first let us check whether our system is having the Java or not. So for that go to the run and go to the command prompt. So type Java C, press enter. So you'll be getting, see Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. So if you get this one, so the Java may not be uh, installed in our system or Java path is not set. Java path is not set. Now uh, let us in, download the JDK and we'll install and we'll check the same thing. Right. So for that, go to the prompt, a browser, right here, just give JDK. So go to the oracle.com, the first one, and just scroll down. You'll be getting a different operating systems, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Move to the Windows, and you'll be having the three files, compressed archive, installer, and MSI installer. So go to the exe file, bin.exe, that means this x64 installer. So just click on this link. So you can observe here the exe file is being downloaded, right? So once it was downloaded, then we can start installing the software. So our software has been downloaded. So go to the downloads so that you'll be find the exe file. So this is a exe file. So just double click on this exe file to install the Java software. So you'll be getting the window here. Welcome to the installation wizard for Java SC development kit. So click on next and choose the path where it has to be installed. So I'll uh, keep this path same in the C, C drive program files. So click on next. So it will start installing the software, Java software. See, so you'll get this message Java C development kit 19 successfully installed. So click on close. So now check the same. So go to the run and go to the command prompt and now you can see java c type java c and execute so you'll get this one right the help what are the options that can be done for this java c will be shown here so that implies the java has been installed in our system let us execute a small program by using this one so let us write down this program in a notepad Okay, so you can write the program in a notepad. So just import java.io.star and write down the class demo. And inside the class demo, give the main function. So public static void main and use the strings, string args and here just write on the small text system dot out dot print ln which is used for uh, as an output function so I'll, here i'll write uh, welcome to java programming i'm writing this small thing so i'm closing this one so save this one so you can see in this one go to the bc and here I'll, I'll give, I'll open the new folder. So I'll rename it as Java programs. So inside this Java programs, I'll give the name demo.java, demo.java. 
now go to the location the same location bc and uh, java programs and here open the command prompt at this particular position so you'll get the prompt here so you can see java c demo dot java so there is a small error in the program so I have kept the semicolon here java c demo dot java so if you don't get any error simply again the prompt will be appeared now in order to execute the program java demo so obviously we'll get the output here itself right so this is how we can install the jdk in our system to write and execute the programs of java right so hope you understood this one so you can observe here once it was successfully executed uh, in I mean compiled then a class file will be uh, created and this class file fr from this class file uh, after execution of the program will get the output so this is a java source file and this is a class file right so hope you understood this one the installation so only one drawback of uh, installing this jdk is while you are uh, trying to execute the applet programs so that cannot be done with the newer versions of uh, jdk so for that purpose you need to install the earlier versions of jdk so that you can execute the applet programs in the earlier versions of jdk right that's the only main main drawback of installing this jdk right so after that uh, uh, set setting the class path and everything so that will be available in our java playlist one and there you can there you can find the download and installation of uh, eclipse and in that video i have already shown you so how to write the programs and how to execute the programs in a eclipse right and this is another way so hope you understood and if you are having any doubts or if you have if you are facing any trouble while installing this jdk feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.